Hong Kong's exchange fund has recorded its second worst quarterly performance ever, losing $100.1 billion. Volatile equities, bonds and currencies triggered the record loss as market sentiments remain extremely cautious, Janice Lowe reports. The city's exchange fund has recorded another loss for a third consecutive quarter. Compared to the $95.4 billion loss in the second quarter, the last three months saw the numbers further dwindle by 4.9 percent, losing $100.1 billion. Overall, the fund has lost $265.5 billion in the first nine months of this year. It is the second worst quarterly performance ever, and for the first time since 2008 that the fund has recorded three straight negative quarters. The authority put the blame on stocks, bonds and currencies, all of which have fared badly this year. Although markets remain optimistic that the United States Federal Reserve will slow down the pace of raising interest rates, Hong Kong's de facto central bank's leader expects losses to continue for the rest of the year as investments face financial headwinds. We might see a slight uh decrease in our, in our overall losses for 2022. But because for this year as a whole up to now, both the equity market and the bond market, even with the rebound, has experienced a, a, a decrease of more than 10 percent. And U.S. dollar remains strong, so we will see a, you know, the, the chances of having a substantial loss for this year uh, will still be there. Despite the fund heading south for another quarter, he said the Monetary Authority has been trying to minimize the loss. Uh, for this year as a whole, up to the third quarter, uh, the loss of the, of the exchange fund is about 6%. If you compare that with an average uh, bond equity portfolio, no matter what the uh, portfolio alloca allocation is, generally the loss that they record this year is more than 20%. The investment environment will remain very uncertain and challenging for next year, U.S. said. A defensive approach during high market volatility could help to offset some losses, he added. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.